Well, I wasn't prepared to make a video this morning, but Lynn announced a moment ago, by request, many, many times, she has a song. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go for it. Farmer Brownie had a cow, had a cow, had a cow. It got sick, I don't know how. All it said was moo. Ooh. Hey, 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 wouldn't you say that would make it go away? Hey, 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 wouldn't you say that would make it go away? Did it go away? Palmer Brownie had a duck. Had a duck, had a duck. All it said was quack, quack, quack. Hey, 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 wouldn't you say that would make it go away? Hey, 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 wouldn't you say that would make it go away? Am I supposed to ask again, did it go away? It didn't go away. <laughs> well, it's gone. Thank you for your song. Uh, Adios, amiga. Adios, senor. I thought there was going to be a punchline. Sorry. Welcome to my life. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. Good morning. Lynn's over there eating her oatmeal. Where'd you get the flowers? From my garden. They all came out of the yard? Yeah. Nice. What's this? That's a cricket. Why is the cricket with you today? I don't know. He just wanted something different. Like oh. me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. been a while since we sat here by the crocodile on the wall and had a chat about our retired life in Ajiji, Jalisco, Mexico. Seems like a lot of people think this is a paradise, including me. <laughs> We've been here uh, 20 years. I stopped because I see my neighbor's dog out there. This is Bruno. We like Bruno. Bruno just uh, opened the door and came in himself. What you doing today? Gonna be a dog? Thanks for stopping. See you later. Bye, Bruno. Ah, where were we? Uh, oh, I see I've got a hole in my shirt. And why do I have a hole in my shirt? because I have my favorite old dirty clothes on. I've got uh, a holy shirt, I call it my Sunday shirt because it's holy. And uh, jeans cut off, old sandals, because I'm working on a project. Speaking of projects, and we'll go see what it is in a minute. It's not a big deal, but we'll go see what it is in a minute. I am kind of taking this time to reevaluate uh, my life and my desires. Uh, eight years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, one of the videos I made that was very successful, almost a million views, um, was why we moved to Mexico. And uh, you can go back and watch that if you really want to know why. but. One of the points that I tried to make in that is that in life, as things change and you change and you move from one phase of your life to another, 
that you should always strive to move towards something that draws you rather than away from something that you're tired of. And um, it's a reevaluation that we should all do every once in a while. And I'm not tired of anything around here in Mexico, but I need a project. I'm tired of sitting around watching YouTube videos. <laughs> not that you shouldn't do that. <laughs> But I can spend all day sitting on the couch watching shorts one after another and uh, get to the end of the day and fool myself into thinking I learned something. And maybe I did or maybe I didn't. But it seems like sometimes a waste of time. A friend of mine called it, called YouTube the black hole of time. Uh, yesterday I did this which is why it's on my mind today. I sat and I watched videos about uh, building uh, small, tiny houses and in particular, uh, underground hobbit houses. And uh, I fooled myself into thinking I was learning some. <laughs> Maybe I was. Anyway, projects. Um, I have some projects in mind here in Mexico, and I need a project. I just need a project. I'll uh, take you around and show you some of the possibilities. Maybe you can vote on them. Well, let's go see the first one I'm doing, which is gonna take me a couple of weeks probably. Let's go for a walk in the house. Not done with that oatmeal yet? Yeah. Oh, you are done, okay. Don't forget to squeak your cricket. No, no squeak. Thanks for participating. <laughs> anyway, uh, projects. My project, Bruno the dog left the door open. My project is, and I watched some videos about this the other day, decluttering my house. You know, it doesn't take a big leap of faith or logic to realize when you spend six months away from all of this stuff, and you've done that for six years, that you don't need all this stuff. Some of these boxes I haven't looked in for 20 years. We kind of use this area here as a storage area when we're gone. And uh, like I said, some of these boxes I haven't looked at for 20 years. This is a computer that I bought in 2001. I paid $1,700 for this computer. It wouldn't cost that much today, but who knows what's on that old hard drive. I took it out and destroyed it. Good luck getting any of my personal information out of that. All of those are boxes of beads. Lynn was a beader for a long time. There are hundreds of pounds, and undoubtedly, maybe it's not an exaggeration to say thousands of dollars worth of beads there. She doesn't bead anymore. So anybody local that uh, is interested in getting a really good deal on beads and a lot of them are natural stones most of these were purchased at the uh, uh, mother of all bead stores in Guadalajara some of them were brought down with us uh, when we moved from Oregon many years ago but anyway we need to get that out of my workshop I'm reclaiming my workshop that's my project I'm reclaiming my workshop Instead of a storage area, it's going to be my workshop again. What else we got here? Poncho's Villa. My cousin Bob, who's a pretty incredible artist, did that for me many years ago when they visited. Poncho was our cat. He moved to... Um, Mexico with us 
And Pancho lived to be 20 years old. He was named Pancho long before we had any connection to Mexico. Oh, Pancho's Villa. Yeah. There's another name that um, we had as a proposed name for our house. Isn't this interesting? Looking at all of my junk. You can see why I need to declutter. Uh, Pancho's Villa. Well... Let me tell you another one as I walk out here. Don't leave one little bit of oatmeal in there. You see the car gate out there. One of the names that we thought about naming the property because there are a lot of pelicans out here on the lake all the time, was Pelican Reach. And my idea was to paint a pelican on the car gate so that when it opened, the pelican's wings would retract and then extend as it closed. Just an idea. Well, other projects that I have in mind. One of the projects I've had in mind, coffee pot's going to the trash, the button stopped working. One of the... <clears throat> That's blooming nicely. One of the projects I've had in mind is to incorporate this patio into the kitchen, making the kitchen bigger. It's fully functional the way it is, so probably don't need to... Hey, Bruno, you're back. Hi, guy. Are you lonely today? Huh? Oh, look at my solar-powered fountain. Umbrellas held up well. Uh, speaking of the weather, 80 degrees, perfect. Another project that I have considered for a long time is to fix up my outdoor kitchen here. But a little bigger project is to extend the roof of that balcony out over here and make this an outdoor patio, maybe put a hot tub in there. That's a possibility. I could actually take it out all the way to these palm trees, which are really getting tall these days. Well, that's a couple of projects. Another smaller project that I think I'm actually going to do this summer is to put a screen door here. Um, last summer I fixed up the door so it's all solid and secure. Some of the wood was getting rotten after years. A screen door so that when I open that up, that's my workshop in there, the air can flow through the house. Well, let's take a look at some of the gardens. You know, when we're gone, we have a lady that house sits for us and uh, watches the property. And she's a master gardener. So when we come home, we have flowers and vegetables and then we got basil. Time to pick the blooms off the basil. You gotta do that or it doesn't work good. Okay. Mmm, that's gonna smell really good. Mmm. Love it. What do we got here? Parsley, parahil, beans, carrots, zanoria, arugula in bloom. Uh, what is this? It's a turnip. 
I don't know what that purple thing is. It sort of looks like the beginning of a, I don't know what it is, cabbage? Um, that might be uh, radishes. Tomato plants. Cilantro. A beet. Onions. Ooh, look at this onion. That's an onion bloom. And what's this? I don't know. Looks like something edible. What's that? Uh, kohlrabi. More flowers. More cilantro. She says that cilantro helps keep the ants out of the garden. What's this? Uh, I don't know. That could be a... Is it a parsnip? This is uh, cilantro going to seed. More cilantro. And then over here, get ready for the bounce while I jump. Just flowers. I try to get the gardener to get this out of here because this is a ficus in it. It'll grow up and bust the wall. Not good. Beautiful flowers. This is where Lynn got her flowers uh, that you saw in the vase earlier. Some kind of cactus, an agave, purple flowers, another onion bloom, big onion down there. What else we got here? More agave, more onions, more zinnias. The cactus garden needs some attention. It's getting out of hand. This is uh, edible. Mexicans uh, take the leaf, new leaves particularly, see? Like those up there would be really good. Smaller and newer. Use a knife to scrape the spines off, cut it up and they call it napales. It's one of those kind of vegetables that sort of takes on the flavor of whatever you're cooking it with, I think. Like choyote. Cupa de Oro. Got a bloom, no flowers just at the moment. Purple bougainvillea. A bird of paradise on its last leg there. Last wing, last flight. That thing's kind of getting old and unwieldy. Oh, pig. Anyway, oh, let's go out and look at the boat. I made this joke before. It's my favorite kind of rooster. The kind that doesn't crow. Time to have the palms trimmed. They're very messy trees. Look at that, hasn't been trimmed for a while. All those fruits up there, you can see them. Where are they? Anyway, uh, she is a master gardener. She just, every time I come home, there's more flowers and more vegetables. Rosemary. This is called a uh, shrimp plant. Supposedly that looks like a shrimp. This thing needs trimming. Talk to Condito about that. Uh, what do we got in the boat? 
something that's needing to be pulled out. Flowers. Oh, those are pretty. Look at those. Some lettuce. Kohlrabi. There's a baby kohlrabi. Uh, more rosemary. Oh, here's a healthier looking birds of paradise. Ave de Pariso. You see the purple all over the ground here? It's the uh, jacarandas are in bloom. A lot of people have uh, allergy problems with this bloom, but boy, are they beautiful. Foxtails, cola de zorro, cola de zorro. That's pretty. That's got a lot of buds. Lechuga, more, more lettuce. This would be uh, oregano. I don't know what that is. Is it lemongrass? Let's see. No. Hmm. And this, I don't know what that is either. There's another baby kohlrabi. Well, got the uh, car and the van and the Quattromoto, the Honda uh, ATV. Got them all running and washed and been to Walmart already with the van. Had to load up on groceries. Well, I think that'll make today's video. And where am I going to end it? As my friend Kevin says, right here. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.